Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hi, I'm Dale Beaumont and welcome to Secrets Exposed. This is the show that takes you up close and personal with world leading business experts. And our topic for this interview is how to get started and how to use Instagram for your business. That coming up in just a moment. My special guest today is Instagram expert Peter Bone, and we're going to be talking about how to get started with and how to use Instagram for your business. This is a really exciting topic to be talking about right now, as Instagram now has over 400 million active users and is one of the fastest growing social media platforms. We're going to be talking with Peter Bone, who now has over 500,000 followers on his Instagram account, and we're going to be talking about how you can use some of those ideas to grow your business. Peter, thanks for joining us. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. So tell us about the account that you have. You've got now got over 500,000 followers on That's your true. account. How did you get started with Instagram or what inspired you to jump onto this platform? I started Achieve the Impossible um, in December 2013. So it's called Achieve the Impossible? Yeah. Okay, so you use the at symbol, right, if you're searching for it, and then yes. you can put in Achieve so the Impossible. Achieve the Impossible, yeah, absolutely. Okay, why did you start it? I started it when my dad was diagnosed with terminal cancer actually. Um, he was given a couple of months to live and it was a difficult time for me and so I thought I was going to quotes a lot, motivational quotes to inspire me and get me through the time. Um, as I was getting inspired by them, I thought if I'm you know, getting ahead with these quotes, maybe other people could um, get inspired with them too. So I thought, is there a community out there that could really work and do with these quotes? Um, from there, I set up the account. I'd only been on Instagram a couple of months myself personally with my personal page, but I thought, yeah, let's give it a go and see if other people are, are interested. I started it and then it's taken off from there. Okay, so you started a personal one and then you started a business one. We'll mm -hmm. talk about the differences and which one people should have yeah. as, we, uh, as we continue. People are watching this from all over the world and going, oh, that's a different accent. So tell us where you're yeah. from. <laughs> it's a good question. I am from New Zealand. Um, I've been Australian now for four years. Uh, so it's, it's a bit of a Kiwi accent with an Australian twang. So okay. And uh, with Instagram, it is a global platform, right? Mm. There are people that use Instagram from all over the world. Absolutely. So tell us about some of the stats in terms of uh, the size and where these people are from. And um, some may people may think it's just for young people, but it's certainly not yeah. that anymore. Tell us a little bit about this platform and what makes it so exciting. The great thing about Instagram is it uses a visual platform to unite the world. So it's not based on words or more language specific things. It's visual, it's largely visual, which means that it can suit any age in any country. At the moment, predominantly, there is a younger age group, just with the difference in tech and the new um, updates and things coming out. Um, and country-wise, is such a broad, broad um, range of people. The United States has got the biggest market share. Then countries like Russia take up spot number two and yeah, it's it's a spread Russia. right across the globe, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Now, so it's kind of like the world, if you were describing it to someone that say had no idea what mm -hmm. it was, it's like the the world's photo album. Exactly Would you say right. it's kind of like that? It's like flicking through a photo album and because it's a mobile only device at the moment, it's it's got a lot more personal. Um, you've got your phone on you wherever you go. And yeah, it's just, it's a much more personal way to connect with people through your photos. Okay, so you, people take photos mm -hmm. of their, their life or their business or things that inspire and interest them, yeah. and they put them onto their own personal page. But then you can follow other people. Uh, explain again, if, if someone knows, not familiar with the platform, what is this concept of following? What does that actually mean? And, uh, and can people follow us? Yeah, it's a great question. When you follow someone, you essentially subscribe to their photos, their posts that are coming on their Instagram feed. So people put photos of things that mean you know, a lot to them. So if it's personal, it could be anything from their family, pets, lunch, gets on there a fair bit. Um, and then if you get a more business oriented account or a, a fan account, um, which could have quotes like my one um, and things like that, when you follow that, they are uh, essentially subscribing to their account and right. to their feed. Now later on, we're gonna talk about how you've been able to develop over half a million people following your, um, your page and yeah. all of the photos that you're posting. Uh, but before we kind of get there, um, what is the first step for someone that now wants to embrace this platform? Where do they go? You mentioned it's a mobile only platform, yeah. so I'm guessing they don't go to their computers 
to do this. Explain how does someone take the first step and how do they get started? Yep, they get their mobile phone out and they download Instagram from the App Store or Google Store. Um, and then from there you can log in with an account. You can log in with Facebook or if you don't have a Facebook account, you can sign in with your email address and a password. It's as simple as that. So you go to your phone, go to the App Store, you download the app called Instagram mm -hmm. and you'll see it's been downloaded millions of times. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then what you do is you either link it to Facebook or you then set up a brand new username and password. Now, immediately there, people are going to be stopped, especially people that are business owners, and the first question they're going to be saying is, well, should I set up an account in my personal name or should I set up one for my business? What's your advice there? For business owners, I believe personally that you need a business name on there. Um, when you're commenting, when you're liking on the, on the feeds that you are following, people will see your business name and it's a great way to build credibility and with um, yeah with your name on it okay so you're you can if you just want to use it for personal you can do that but if you're using this as a business strategy to get more customers mm -hmm. and increase your brand awareness yeah. and to interact with your customers on a regular basis then use your business name yeah so you put in your business name you then put in a password and then you've got an account Yay, okay. Yeah. What do you do next? What's the first thing that you need to do and set up? Before you tell anyone about your Instagram account, I think it's so important to have um, a backlog of photos. So maybe start with a dozen photos before you start sharing it through your Facebook and other social media accounts um, and telling your friends and family about it. So having those 12 posts on there gives people an idea of what you're about to post in the future reflected on the past. So people are only following you based on what you've done in the past and they think right i love the look of that i love the way they do these photos i love the quotes the messages they're sharing and will follow to get with you in that's the future that's a good tip because mm -hmm. if people you're telling the whole world and you got one photo there yeah and exactly. it might not even be a great yeah. photo then yeah. they're making they're judging your entire experience based on one image absolutely as opposed right. to past okay that's great so have a backlog of say yes. at least a dozen photos yeah. that are there and um then we also need to write a description, right? And have uh, like a main photo. Um, so tell us about that and why that's important to get those things right. Absolutely. The front door of your Instagram shop, as a metaphor, is your profile picture. Um, if it is a personal account and you're building your own personal brand, absolutely put a photo of yourself up. If it is a business account, I definitely re recommend your logo or another something that stands out. Um, a different variation of your logo even um, because often it's seen as a small thumbnail image um, which means just a very very small image um, through your notifications or your feed uh, it's important that it does stand out and uses bold colors and letters okay so um you have to see how it scales when it's made really really small mm -hmm. sometimes your existing logo works other times it doesn't and yeah. you might have to reimagine it Absolutely. to be in more of a circle space right because if you've in got one circle, that's yeah. very long it may not uh, work for that platform. Absolutely, yeah. And with your bio as well. So you've got your profile picture, you've got to make that look amazing. Your bio is a very, very short description of who you are. So the thing with Instagram is it builds a community around your business. So you're, you're trying to build a community of like-minded people who believe what you believe. So in that bio, put what you believe, put what you do and how you do it. So let's talk about that again, because I think it's really important. Mm. You're trying to build a community of people that believe what you believe. Absolutely. Explain that to me. Yeah. So for myself and Achieve the Impossible, I wanted to inspire people through quotes. So my bio is inspiration, motivation through quotes. And it's, um, it's a, it just gives people a taste of what they can expect. And it's, it's almost like a hi, my name is sticker. It's hi, I'm Achieve the Impossible. This is what we believe. Come and follow us. Okay, and you're not trying to appeal to everybody. You're trying to appeal to the people that believe what you believe. Absolutely. And there's a market for just about everything, right? Yeah, it truly Even is, if yeah. you, you know, my, my br brother is actually putting on an event called Meat Stock, and he's basically now built a, a, a page called Meat Stock, just putting up photos of meat. Wow. And he's now <laughs> getting a whole bunch of people now following him because... There are a lot of people out there that love eating meat, so <laughs> it's starting to grow. You can really do anything on Instagram. It's okay. amazing. Now, m people might be wondering at this point, okay, is this Instagram platform, um, is it for just young people? Like my market, say people in their 30s or 40s or even 50s, uh, now with over 400 million users, I'm guessing it's be become more than just a a platform for only young people, right? Absolutely, yeah. So the trend has started off. Instagram's only been around a few years, started in 2012, I believe. 
Um, it started off with the young people picking it up first. In their teens and 20s? In their teens and 20s, under 30s, exactly. And then now the demographic is getting older and older. Um, obviously still young people are picking it up, but the move is definitely going up the shift and up the age group. So it really does appeal to a wide, wide range. I suppose range. it's like Facebook, you know, it started out very young. Absolutely, become yeah. older and older as more parents and even grandparents get yeah. on the platform as well. The same thing's gonna happen with Instagram. Absolutely. All right, now people may be wondering, even though it is a global platform, I'm a local business. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have a local um, dance uh, studio or I might be a personal trainer and I might only be able to service people in my local area. Is it still worthwhile me having an Instagram yeah. account? Well, obviously, if you're a local business, you're not after all the followers in Russia or America or all around the world. You want to target people in your area. The cool thing about Instagram are the hashtags and your geotags. That means your locations that you can uh, describe to people and allocate to your posts. So okay. if you put a picture of your personal training studio, you'd do a location and you'd hashtag the area that you're in. People go and search for that hashtag based on their area and can see you as a personal trainer. All right, we've got a lot to talk about. We so might take much. a quick short break. When we get back, we're going to get into all these things in terms of uh, hashtags and geotagging. We'll talk about what images work really well. We'll also talk about descriptions, so what you should put in your descriptions as well. We'll talk about uh, following um, other people as well and how to make sure that you show up in search. So we've got a lot more to come on this interview. We're just getting started. We're talking with Peter Bone about how to get started with and how to use Instagram in order to grow your business. Keep watching. Welcome back to this interview with Peter Bone where we're talking about how to get started and use Instagram. All right, so let's continue. We have spoken about um, the uh, bio um, and also spoken about the, your image as well and getting your kind of logo right. Yeah. Um, within the bio, we understand this is the one and only time that you can put in a clickable link. Absolutely. So explain why that's the case and why it's important that business owners you know, get this part right. Yeah. One of the key things that sets Instagram apart from other social media is that one exclusive clickable link in your bio, which, is, which some people say is, oh no, I don't have more links, but it does make it that much more personal, that much more intimate, and it lets you funnel people through to one link. So you've got that one call to action, that one link, and that's in your bio, which everyone will see when they follow you. It's so important that that link goes somewhere that can help your business, whether it's a lead or a... And clearly the reason why Instagram do it, they want to keep people on their own platform and Absolutely. not have people always leaving all the mm. time. But most people know, if I really like this person, they're going to immediately click on your company name. Absolutely. They're going to go through to your page. They will, if they like seeing what they see, they'll click the follow button. And if they want to know even more, then they'll click the hyperlink and yeah. that will take them out of Instagram directly to whatever page you select. Absolutely, whatever page, yeah. Now it can be a landing page um, and you can also change it at any time as well. So if you have an offer or a promotion, you can put up a post and say, get the link in my bio and you'll be able to take, be taken directly to that page or offer. Absolutely, it's really common for us to, to, to devote an entire post to something that's in the bio. Maybe it's an offer of a free ebook or, or something else free to get an email um, or something like that. So it's very, very common to promote that link in the bio um, inside your caption or a post. Okay, fantastic. So let's talk more about the images themselves. Do you have any tips about mm. what type of images, you know, and is it worthwhile for people to do, you know, I'm not saying a full on photography course, but yeah. to, you know, to watch a few videos online to learn how to better use the cameras that they have uh, because there's a few kind of, you know, principles and I think it's important that people now need to learn how to take better photos. Absolutely, and it entirely depends on your, your audience, what, who you're hoping to attract and why. For me, it was quotes based, so it's very text orientated. So the photography and things like that, I could fit in amongst the words. However, if you're a local business, um, say a cafe for example, your photography is amazing because you are uh, promoting your products, your services of your actual goods in the cafe. So absolutely take your own photos like that, make it personal, take them, phones these days have amazing cameras on them. Um, that's often all people need. If you're targeting more of a landscape photographer or a professional photography, absolutely use the professional for um, the cameras and things like that. But if it's just a local... To continue enjoying this presentation, download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today.